Hello everyone, how are you today? My name is Tarun Manjal and today I will show you how to configure uh, Windows Server 2003 to be non-active directory uh, integrated DNS server. So let me first show you how what is my config configuration. Alright, so this is my server one which is uh, configured as a DNS and DHCP server. Um, DHCP is, um, I mean, you don't have to have DHCP, I just have it. So, um, this is the configuration. So, IP address is 10.10.10.2, .10 DNS server, and default gateway 10.10.10.1. .10 .10 Alright, uh, let me switch over to the other server. Okay, this server is just uh, a domain controller. There is no other role um, of this server. So, let's close this out. Let's see the configuration. IP address is 10.10.10.3 .10 .10 DNS server would be 10.10.10.2 .10 .10 okay, Let me switch it back to server 1 Okay, now I, I've already installed uh, DNS and uh, configured uh, this uh, theron.local which is my domain and my active directory as you can see right here theron.lcl I'll show you in active directory as well Let it come up uh, and as you can see there is nothing else uh, it does not show my domain controller the DNS server is not able to find the domain controller and as you can see Active Directory Users and Computer this is my domain uh, and so t to go get over this problem what you have to do is you have to perform a couple of steps on your DNS server the first step would be to exit this out, go to my computer, go to properties, and in here go to computer and click change. And here we will change DNS fix. We're not going to make it a member of a domain, so all we're doing is changing the DNS fix to whatever your uh, D domain name is. Mine is tarn.lcl, which is short for local. Click OK, it's going to tell you to restart. So you will have to restart this. So I'll see you once I restart this computer. Okay, so here I'm back, and uh, as you can see, now the DNS effect, primary DNS effects of this computer is darn.lcl. Keep in mind, this doesn't mean that uh, this computer is joined to the domain, as you uh, I'll show you right here. It's just. Um, it had just has this uh, the domain's effect. It's still in a work group. It's not. Uh, it hasn't joined the domain. So uh, now what we have to do is we have to go back in DNS and configure the root hints uh, so the server is able to find uh, the DNS server. So go to root hints and double click on that and down here you would see an option right here it says add click on that type in the fully qualified domain name uh, fully qualified domain name of your uh, domain controller which in my case is darn uh, sorry server 2.darn.lcl and you will have to type in your IP address of the server sorry, domain controller click add most likely you won't be able to resolve it and uh, click OK once this is, done, this is done you all you have to do is you have to restart both of these computers and you should be good to go and uh, this would allow you to uh, join uh, your client computers to your domain uh, let me just show you before uh, I had done this um, before I had uh, configured my DNS and I tried to join this computer to the domain and this was the error I was getting the domain controller of the domain there and that LCL could not be contacted once you restart these computers these servers uh, you will most likely be able to join this client computer to the domain so let me just restart th these computers and once I restart I'll be back with you okay so I, here I have restarted both the computers and uh, let me just show you the configuration in DNS okay okay so as you can see all these 
uh, other folders are in our own uh, LCL so that means our um, DNS is working and there we go now we let's try that to uh, add this first of all let's flush the DNS because that should that could create a problem okay so let's click okay now okay Okay, welcome to uh, the thurn.lcl domain. Okay, now it's going to tell you to restart your computer. And once you restart, uh, you will be all set. This will um, be uh, connected to your domain, enrolled in your domain. So this is how it's done. Uh, one more thing uh, you guys have to, you may have to do is you may have to uh, go. Uh, once you restart these computers and uh, then uh, uh, if there is any problem do one thing go on command prompt type in ipconfig space forward slash register DNS uh, in both these uh, servers and that should take care of the problem uh, I don't think that should that would be necessary but in case you have any problem connecting or enrolling uh, or joining any computer to the, to the domain Alright, so this is it for uh, this uh, video. Uh, please do rate and comment my video and you can check out my website at munjaltharun.co.cc It's M-U-N-J-A-L-T-A-R-U-N dot C-O dot C-C Also, in case you want my help, please make sure you uh, have some kind of uh, way to um, communicate with me like um, chatting and you uh, make sure you are willing to send a remote assistance uh, invitation take care and have a good day bye bye